Corey Cadby back on tour. Absolutely fantastic. It's been quite the week, mate. Put it in words. Ah, big week. Um, what can I say? Travel all the way from Australia from down under. Um, no expectations, or a lot of expectations. Um, a lot of pressure on myself or on other people. Um, but I conquered and I got my card. At what point did you decide to come back to Q School? Um, so, obviously with the COVID, it's been a bit of a trouble in the last couple of years. Um, but it's always been the plan to come back. It's just a matter of time and when. Um, but probably eight months ago, really thought that I'd give um, Q School crack. So. Was it tougher than you thought? I will say, yeah. Um, it was very tough, like the opponents were tough, but also the pressure on myself, um, because I've been here, I've done it before, um, probably the more pressure of um, a failure would be probably more the pressure of everything. You're quite unknown because you're not thrown darts competitively three or four years. So coming into this, how did you feel you'd play? in that environment? Um, well, I haven't had no match practice or anything other than that. Um, but a good friend back home, more of a brother. Um, we spent probably the last two months practicing very solid, a lot of time. Um, <laughs> lots of no sleep um, because I was putting in the hard work. Um, but other than that, no game practice. And yeah, I came here with every attention on securing my card, but whether it played out, I wasn't sure. Is it fair to say you weren't totally organised with your packing? Yeah, mum packed my bag. <laughs> Thanks mum. What did she miss out? <laughs> she missed my shoes, <laughs> my dark case. Um, she packed me one pair of stems, one pair of flights, one set of darts, um, one pair of socks, and no shoes. Now, a little birdie told me your favourite number is 13. Uh, that is And correct. that played quite a role. Do you want to tell us, like, the weird anomalies that happened? Well, so, what can I say? I've got 13 tattooed on me a couple of places. Um, it's my favourite number. Um, my entry number was 13. Our table that we're sitting at was 13. Um, the board the final yeah. was 13 and, and what day does he qualify? Friday the 13th and you believe in all this kind of stuff? yeah most definitely and the other day we were sitting having dinner and my brother's funeral song came on so I believe it's an omen yeah it's like you forgot to buy a pair of shoes you just walked past somebody walked past a pair of shoes sat there in your size that'd be freaky wouldn't it? Yeah, very freaky, and what can I say? That happened. We asked for a Rolls Royce, didn't we, on the next book? <laughs> he still hasn't shown up. <laughs> we'll get there, mate, yeah. <laughs> So you got your tour card now, so you're back to the grind. You've done it before, you know what to expect. Uh, realistically, what are you looking for for this year, your first year back? Targets? Um, just solid performance all around. Um, obviously, making a quid here and there, it's always going to be good. But just to uh, get my mind... Um, my confidence and my arrogance back. Not so much arrogance, but my ability to know that I'm going to win. So, And a quick word on the man who made this possible? Uh, it'd be Mr. Mark Elkin. My, um, his, and Gary Plummer from Target. Um, stuck through thick and thin, um, through the bad and through the good. And I appreciate you guys a lot. And I'm here for the very good journey. So... Let's go, boys. And a message to the players you're about to face again? Um, hopefully, you're all grabbing hold of your coffee cup and it's shaking because I'm here to, to rattle it. Cody Cadby, back on tour. Congratulations, mate. All the, the best. King is back.